Here we are at Berlin City Nissan in South Portland, Maine. Going to test drive the all new 2018 Nissan Leaf. All right, and here we go. Here's my wife taking the uh, all new 2018 Nissan Leaf for a uh, test drive here. We are in South Portland, Maine. She's only been behind the wheel for two seconds, but so far, what, what do you think, honey? I like it so far. <laughs> you like it so far? <laughs> What do you think, Ben? Do you like it? Is it a lot like Daddy's car? <laughs> and that's the thing, it's it's very familiar, but there are some, you know, upgrades and improvements. Um, it feels this, more like my car, but an electric version. It, so you feel that this feels more like uh, your Rogue, but just an electric version of the Rogue? Oh, that's, that's interesting. Like my dashboard feels a lot like what I'm used to. Right, so that's that's a good point. So with the, with the uh, new... Design, Daddy. Benjamin. Daddy. Okay. So what I like about this is it's it's more or less all flat up here. It's it's um and that's that's neat because if you needed to mount things, <laughs> a GPS, not that you would in, in this model, but uh, maybe an S because we have been looking at you know all different variations of this car and the S right now seems to have the best uh, incentives on it. But uh, regardless, they all have this kind of uh. uh dashboard here so I do like that um I missed having the digital speedometer you know dead at the center but there's a way and I haven't found it yet but there is a way to get a digital speedometer down there but I just haven't figured it out um well, well when I figure that out I'll definitely get a, a shot of it but uh and then everything else down here you, the buttons layouts are a little different you got your heated seats here actually let me turn your heated seat on there you go <laughs> uh They've got your, you know, the shifter that we're all familiar with, but they put the cup holders here and the shifter there. Where in the previous version, the shifter was here, the cup holders were here, and they were left and right instead of up and down. I don't know if I really like that too much, but it, you know, come a new year comes a new design. But just driving it though, driving it feels comfortable, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's cool. And I haven't driven yours a lot, so I don't have it much to compare to a prior Leaf because I've only driven yours a couple times. So right. I've driven my Rogue mostly, and like I said, to me this feels a lot like my Rogue, just all electric. So an all electric version, and it, and the nice thing is it's uh, you know you get uh, that range with the 40 kilowatt hour battery. I mean it's estimating 164 miles at a 95 percent charge right now. So it's a stronger version of my car electrically so but i like the nice design you like the design that's the thing yeah. and we'll, we'll get some more pictures of the design outside but yeah the the redesign of the not just the interior but the exterior too makes it feel you'd feel more comfortable you wouldn't feel like a geek driving around in this vehicle no, right I, this feels like so this feels like your car and my car feels like my car yeah. <laughs> so there we go <laughs> like i like this this is Even if we were to go with the S and not do the SV, like, this would be comfortable. I like it. Some things that I've noticed that they've carried over from the old version is the uh, the lights on there, which is cool. I like having the lights letting you know how much of a charge is in the vehicle as it's charging. So there, there are lots of things that have carried over, but then there are a lot of things that are new and different about the 2018 version. <laughs> it still has the uh, the hump down here, so but that's that's the service port to the battery. Uh, the the back seats actually seem very similar, and the amount of space is very similar. It's pretty much the the same amount of space that you would have in the uh, prior versions, 2011 through 2017. So we just turned e pedal on. Yeah. And so what does it feel like now when you drive with e-pedal on? Like I really have to push on the accelerator to get the car to go. Right. But if you let go of the accelerator, it will come to like a complete stop. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So that's that's different. But yes. it's, a, it's a feature you can turn on and off. And it's as easy as that switch right there. Just turn it on or turn it off. But right now we have it on. And there's nobody behind right, us. So. Well, you can give it a try so when you get to our next stop or corner or whatever you can see what it's like 
using the uh, e-pedal. That is something I do not have in my vehicle. <laughs> Green light? Are we gonna get a red light? No? Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> oh, there we go. So here we go. Here's our first red light using e-pedal. Are you using the brake or yes, no? You I'm are. Just going too fast. <laughs> but if you let go of the brake, it it holds it, right? Yep. So you don't even have your foot on the brake, and the cars, the car is stopped there. That's that's cool. <laughs> I didn't have a car with me. I would have played with it more. But. Yeah, if there wasn't a car behind us, but I like to try the e-pedal thing out. But I've already kind of I've went, got a big honking truck behind me, so you know. Yeah. So that's that's an interesting way of driving, and again, that's adjustable. You can either use it or don't use it. You can turn it on and off at will. So well, like I was just saying. Without it on, it felt like I was just driving my normal gas car. So, for someone who's just turning to electric, and that's what you're used to, then that's probably the best way. So you to, to turn it off, you're to saying? To turn it off. Yeah. Middle, yeah. And then if you wanted to experiment and get used to it, then here, here we go. We have another stoplight coming up. So, just trying to do it here. Let's see what, what it's like. Because, yeah, as soon as you let go, it... it, it <laughs> nope, yeah. There. You, you would have to play with it more to really get a feel for it, but you can drive with just one pedal. And the line's like way up there. <laughs> so inching over, nope, we're still still red light and the line's still way up there. <laughs> so that takes some getting used to. That takes some you want me to turn it off? Yes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn it off. So it's just at any time you just do that and now it's off. There must be an indication on the dash. Press but, brake pedal to operate a pedal switch. Oh, Oh, you have to put, yeah, you have to put your foot on the brake because, so. There you go. You pedal off now. Okay, now it's, now it's off. And your foot's on the brake now. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's why you, can, you, so you can't just, and that's the thing, if you had a kid in here, they can't just pl play with the button. And I know that with the shifter, too. You can't just hit park or, the only thing you, or, or put in reverse. You can put it between uh, regenerative braking and drive mode, so B or D, and currently we're in B. That you can do on the fly, but if you were driving down the road, you don't have to worry about you know someone hitting the park button and it just instantly coming to the stop. It's not going to do that. The, the computer won't let the car do that. Right. So, so and just like with the e pedal, where we just tried to take it out of e pedal mode, you didn't have your foot on the brake, so it, it complains like uh, must put your foot on the brake. It's like oh yeah, duh. <laughs> so is there someone actually trying to do this and not just right, hit right? Them? And I believe, I believe that comes standard on all models. So whether it's an S, SV, or an SL, you can get e-pedal. It's the Pro Pilot Assist, which I know you're not even going to try. And I probably wouldn't, given the fact that main roads are crappy. And, well, I guess the line is very visible here. But there are many areas where you cannot see the center line because it's just the paint has faded. And I'm sure Pro Pilot Assist would not work very well. Of course, you know... We're not even going to try that in this review, so <laughs> maybe not even like using cruise control. Never mind Pro Pilot Assist. So. Right? Yes. Like I don't mind cruise control, and I, I would love to give Pro Pilot Assist a, a try, but I don't think it's a selling feature for us. So <laughs> not for me, anyways. Right. Overall thoughts, honey. What, what do you think of the I car? Like it. You like it? Yep. So what what kind of vehicle do you want? go with the S over the SV, which is what we're currently driving, just because I've never had any of the perks anyways, so I'm not missing out on anything, though they're always nice to have, Right. so, but it's not worth the extra money. Not worth the extra money. Mm -hmm. So if we can strike a deal on a, a Nissan Leaf 2018 S, which would have pretty much the same radio that I have, but everything else would more or less be the same, minus the things that you're not using anyways you're not using pro pilot you're not using uh you know half the stuff that the sv or the sl would have you'd be happy right. with an s yep all right but the you, you feel confident given the miles that you can get like 141 at an 85 percent charge this that was a, another big thing was the range anxiety and you don't feel that you have range anxiety in this car correct because even in my gas car it's very rare that i have a full tank at all times anyways so um, I have a tendency of wanting to get pretty low. Yes. So I'm not, like if, I said, my only worry is that at least with a gas car, you can pull over anywhere and get gas. And here in Maine, we don't have that luxury with electric cars. There's not charging places everywhere. So that's a little frustrating. So you just have to plan your trip a little better and know where your charging points are. So that way you can plan that trip. But right. that's my only, but I mean, but 150 with, miles is 
doable for most places I go here in Maine. Yeah, and you do know where the charging stations are, and we do use the PlugShare app, so with using PlugShare, you know that you can pull over in Augusta, or you can pull over in Portland, or, yeah. you know, and then for the areas that don't quite have the infrastructure yet, like Farmington, Maine, for instance, as of uh, the recording of this video, Farmington, Maine is a hole in the uh, EV infrastructure, so, but they're only uh, 50 miles away from us, so if we drive 50 miles up into Farmington and I mean, 50 a, miles back, we'll still have 50 miles left on yeah, the car, so. Go there and back and not in winter time and not worry about charging like we do with your car currently, right. so that's nice. And if we were to go up there, particularly in the better months, uh, regardless, both, both times, but I'm just thinking like in the summer, and we have that total 150 uh, maybe 180 because that's that's what we're getting right now, you know um, We we can drive around and we, we can go up to Farmington, but we can also go places, you yes. know We're not just confined to you know going to our destination Which is typically my parents and then going straight home We could go to my parents and then we can be like, you know what? We want to go out to eat and we're gonna drive 10 miles into town go out to eat and then drive home yeah, and exactly. know that the car has more than enough juice to do it and that's something that I just can't do with uh, my vehicle right now. Is he? Yeah, like he's he's things. bored. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. When you're older, you, you'll appreciate this. <laughs> I'm over this. So let's go, guys. Yes. So no, I like it, and I was just saying, like it it feels a lot like my car. It feels like what I'm used to for a gas car. So um, I like the new design. I like the inside. The interior of it is quite nice. The trunk's a little smaller than what I'm used to for my Rogue. Um, but I don't exactly haul a lot except for groceries. Right. So, so I don't see that being an issue. And um, the space in the back for Ben is plenty. Like he's not struggling with his feet where he is. And I think if either one of us had to sit out back with him, we'd have plenty of room also. Right. So. Looks comfy. Yeah. And the seats are comfy. And the heat's wicked hot when you turn it on. Oh, yeah. That heat system definitely works. So <laughs> we, we've got it off right now. I mean, it's what? 39 degrees outside yeah. today. And you turn it on for all of two yeah, seconds. Yeah, so like we, 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 don't, we don't need the heat right now. So, all right, good deal. All right, so my wife just took this uh, 2018 all-electric Nissan Leaf for a test drive, and she's now in the mall with Ben. So I'm going to take it for a test drive and see what this baby really can do. Oh, the one thing that's new, <laughs> I have the e-pedal on. Yeah, you actually really, even in reverse, you have to uh, give it the accelerator or it's not gonna move. So that's that takes some getting used to. That, that's interesting. I didn't think it would work in reverse like that, but there we go. And then I'm in uh, regenerative braking mode and then I let go and <laughs> that is, that's, that's something else. <laughs> Just to have the car come to a complete stop, that is uh, something else. Again, my wife didn't really care for the feature. I think, it, I think after a while she would warm up to it, but um, I'll tell you one thing, I, I like that. That, that, is, that is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, no brake, that, that is, okay. <laughs> um, so. All I gotta do here is get out of the mall parking lot. Because I wanted to try, the one thing I really did want to try, I, I would really like to try out the uh, Pro Pilot Assist here. So I'm gonna get back on the road here and give this a try. All right, here we go. So let go of the accelerator and, oh, wow. <laughs> and even, t that does take some getting used to, but all right. So let's see. How do we engage ProPilot? Okay, so being a 2017 LEAF owner, I can certainly say that I love e-pedal. E-pedal is awesome. So the fact that e-pedal comes on all trims, that, that's the def definite selling point for me. Foot's off completely. Here it goes. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. Oh, I timed that perfectly. All right. That is awesome. I've only driven like a quarter of a mile and I've already, I've mastered the e-pedal. <laughs> 
So like with all new things, you sometimes need to read the instructions and I have not had a chance to read the instructions on ProPilot. So unfortunately, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I got a little blue button here that has like a radar thing around the car and then like another button over here and I'm at a stoplight, so let's see here. Okay, so this button over here is the distance between the car in front of you and yourself. I can see that with the lines that are changing. So that's not the pro pilot. This button over here, when I turn that on, it uh, comes up with all this blind spot. So yeah, I'm not gonna be able to figure out the pro pilot, unfortunately. I might not be able to figure out this pro pilot thing, but that's all right. What I need to do is I just need to get it back to the dealership because you know, my wife and son is waiting for me. All right, so why don't we take a look underneath the hood of the 2018 Nissan Leaf. And as you can see, a lot of this looks very familiar. Of course, the uh, components have been upgraded, but if you are familiar with your the previous generation Leaf, uh, this generation doesn't look too uh, alien to you. <laughs> so that's, that's a good thing. Um, you can see that it's equipped with... So here's one thing I want to point out here. Um, check this out. If you were ever wondering if you have a DC fast charging capability, these two right here is your uh, DC fast charger, and then this one is your, your regular um, level one, level two. So if you could only see underneath the hood on a vehicle and you were wondering if it was equipped or not, just being able to point out the three different orange cables there will let you know that yes, it is equipped with the DC fast charging capability. And that actually, if, if you follow those cables down, um, let's pop the charge port lid here. If you look right here, that's where the cables go. So these two, positive and negative, for your DC goes right here. And then you've got your single one right here for your level one, level two.